morning this week is all about the salon after six long weeks in the bathroom and we're going to be building a sofa bed and installing a stove we've bought um, an ottawa five kilowatt stove with a bolt-on oven like everything on the boat everything's got to have two uses so we thought uh, an oven would be good with the stove um, for the sofa bed we've seen some good ideas on Pinterest and we're borrowing a few of those to build it. Um, what else? The flooring is nearly done in the salon. Oh and I've got a really nice piece of um, photo wall coming to put up on the end wall. That should arrive in the next day or two so I'll show you that once it arrives. Hello then, what's going on over here? Oh hi. Who's that? Hello Adam. Permission to come aboard? On you come. Oh good, you can do a bit of filming for me. Yep. That's rather convenient. <laughs> What are you doing over here, Grandad? Building base for a sofa bed. This whole corner is going to be a sofa bed. And we've got these um, slats that we got from um, our next door neighbour, in fact, who was moving out, throwing a bed away. And it just so happens that they're exactly the right length for the size that we need. Probably I can actually measure those in anyway. And one of the main things that has to happen here is that this corner has to be accessible because it's under the bath, there's a pump there, there's all sorts of stuff going on. So what I'm working on at the moment is this panel which can be removed. And I think we can just about get it out. There we go. So the next stage for this is going to have these various slats fixed onto it and then that'll be a removable panel for this corner, get through everything that's in there and then once that's in place I'll come back along here where I'm sitting and then this will be another removable panel and this is where we're going to put storage under here. So that'll be this section taken care of. This part here, this is the clever bit over here, is going to be um, a pulley out kind of sofa bed arrangement. We've seen a few of these things online that people have done, so we're going to pick out the best bits of that and we'll do that for ourselves. So what's going to happen is the sitting on bit is going to be about that wide and then in various clever bits and pieces this will pull out along here and it will form a big sofa bed of this size and that's where we are at the moment yeah. eight days into making the uh, sofa bed which is kind of good or really um, rather a nice project because it's just about pure carpentry so very nice been a few technical issues as you can imagine with something like this the whole thing here uh, and the, the clamp shows it's still work in progress this whole piece slides out to here thereby increasing the size of the bed. 
and um, the supports have to go in there's a couple more additions to go to it but we've got nice rounded corners this cutting these out that's to take the weight out of this as much as possible and the same on the other end but that's only for um, aesthetics really where the um, bottom or any moving parts really are going to be running along the floor then I intend to put um, some felt along the bottom which will cut down on the friction um, and also stop the floor getting scratched as well it should be okay um, I've got one or two more technical issues to get through but I'm planning on having this lot done and finished within the next two days um, if not sooner yeah it's been okay I'm using um, birch face ply as well and the reason for that is because we don't know how we're going to finish it so however we do finish it it's a very nice finish and it means we can paint it or we can um, use Osmo oil on it at the moment I think we're in favor of the Osmo oil because it will bring out the various grains that, that are on show so we'll see um, anyway yeah there we go so while Henry continues with the sofa bed I'm going to be getting on with this wall by the way, I'm sorry about the noise coming in from outside. It's blowing a hoolie out there. Anyway, we decided to... We were going to paint this wall, but then in the end we decided that we wanted a big image to go on it. And there's a company called Photo Wall that, that has thousands of images you can scroll through and then they print them out to whatever size you want. And it's on a really nice grade uh, paper. So we looked through and we thought... Well, we could go for something naturey, maybe tree branches or some abstract flowers or something like that. But nothing was really floating our boat, as it were. And then all of a sudden, a brilliant image popped up, something quite piratey and um, much more up my street. So I'm just about to start cutting and pasting that on. There we are. Great, isn't it? Tricky to put up, but I think um, that's because we haven't got straight sides. But I'm pleased with it. So I've just got to let it dry now, and that will be all done by tomorrow morning, nice and dry. So when the Osmo is dry, we'll organise the cushions to go on the sofa bed. And I found these two pieces of upholstery foam on Facebook Marketplace. This one isn't quite deep enough, so we're going to use this bit for the Pullman's dinette. But all the upholstery foam will be four inches, so we'll get a cushion cut to the width there. And then this other piece that I've got turns out to be exactly the right size. And that will sit on top of there and tuck under the gunnels. Go down to the end. We'll have a cushion cut for this piece. And then the cushion that goes along the back there will be made exactly the same size as this area here. Right. And it will slot on there. And there we go, sofa bed, voila. In the end, we decided to use Osmo on the wood instead of painting it. It's probably easier to maintain because you just need to sand and put another coat on if you need to. This is now complete. Um, and the Osmo has actually helped the tines to slide in and out really nicely. So it was a good decision in the end. We've put some oak facing on it here. We've got all these lovely curves that Henry's cut out of the wood. Bit of oak on the edge there. It's a really nice size now. You know, small double, two small people or one larger. So that's great. And it means that now we can move on with the next job, which is the hearth. So we've got to put... Um, 
a board of calcium silicate fireboard on top of the plywood and we've got to do the same here and here and then on top of that we're going to put a board of cement board because it's easier to tile onto cement board than it is onto fireboard. And then at the reclamation centre this week, we found these really nice slates. So they'll go on top of the fireboard. And so at the moment, we're just cutting out the boards to go around there. And next week's job will be to start the Pullman's dinette, which is going to go here. So we'll build the wall for the dinette and then do all the surrounds for the fire on top of it. There has to be um, a 10 mil air gap between the back of the Pullman's dinette and the fireboard. We've got to double up the fireboard because it's 12 mil and you need to have about 25 mil. On top of that will be the cement board and then the tiles on top of that with fireproof cement. So we're hedging all our bets and we should be super safe once that's all done. Um, and then the stove will go on top of here. Nice little Ottawa that we've got there. Oven to go on top of it. And next week will be, that will be finished and we'll be well through the Pullman's dinette. So we'll show you that when we do it next week. That's all for now and see you on the next video.